This is Kalam Valley in Swat, Pakistan. Located in the northwest of Pakistan, it is one of the popular tourist destinations for anyone looking to travel in the north of Pakistan. This is what it looks like during the winters, and this is what it looks like in the summers when it's brimming with activity. For the summer trip, we rented our transport, including the Steora Hilux, and for the winter trip, we used our very own Defender. Both of these trips were filmed by Saif and the final destination for both of these trips was Mahudande. Although these trips were filmed 6 months apart, I compiled them side by side since essentially they were to the same destination. So we started our journey from Islamabad and an estimated time to reach Kalam is 6 to 7 hours depending on traffic conditions. You can find lots of places to eat in Chakdara if you want to stop along the way and there are a few places in Bahrain as well. Furak Mahal in Chakdara is where you really want to eat which is less than 3 hours from Islamabad. Usually in the north, you can find lots of cable cars that ferry people across rivers. But this was the first time I saw one powered by a running car. Although maybe not the safest mode of transport, it was pretty innovative. There are dozens of hotels in Kalam you can choose from but we picked one of the cheapest ones since we only needed a place to crash for the night before we headed on towards Mogan Lake. If you are traveling in season it's better to make a reservation beforehand but usually in the off season you can find rooms available on the spot. After about 6 hours we reached Kalam city and we spent the night there. The next morning we woke up early, had breakfast and made our way towards Ushu Forest and Mountain Lake which is about a 2 hours drive from Kalam. You can reach Kalam on regular cars but from Kalam to Mahudan Lake you need an SUV which you can easily hire from Kalam. Some people do take their cars all the way up to Mahudan Lake but that's just up to you. The easiest way to arrange SUVs is to ask the hotel you're staring at to arrange it for you which they will happily do but it might cost you slightly more than arranging it beforehand. Thank you. 
Pakistan still use butter in their cars instead of cooling. It's probably best that you have antifreeze in your car when you're traveling to Kalam in the winters. Temperatures can sometimes reach negative 10 at night, causing water in the radiators to freeze over. Alternatively, the hotels usually ask if your car is running coolant or not because they will intermittently start your car at night to keep the water from freezing over. The Jeep track itself is pretty easy in the summers and slightly challenging in the winters. In the summers, once you are off the tarmac, you can reduce tire pressures if you want to make the ride more comfortable and get better grip. If you're traveling in the winters, you should keep snow chains because the weather over there is extremely unpredictable. Once we encountered ice, we thought it was best to put on snow chains. And once we had the snow chains on, the progress was much more easier. a drive of two to three hours we finally reached Mahudan Lake. There is no hiking or anything like that and you can drive all the way up to the lake. If you are feeling adventurous though, there are a couple of lakes that are behind Mahudan Lake that you can visit which require a bit of off-roading and a bit of trekking.
टूट गए ये ले 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 ले